This is my first YouTube video back since I broke my last GoPro in Hawaii trying to film a video on manta rays and didn't get that one out, unfortunately. This one is hopefully going to last a lot longer. So right now I'm in Reno, Nevada, heading out of the Southwest for winter. I've been down here because of the good climate for a long time. It's been really good to me, but I miss the forest so much. It's uh, getting to mid-February now, which means it's starting to warm up just a little bit, which is just enough for me to head back to the Pacific Northwest and see some of my favorite parts of the country. And you're gonna come with me on this trip and see two places that I've never seen before, a couple parts in Northern California and very Northern Washington. We're gonna see if we can get in there with all the snow, but we're still gonna go check it all out, do a little road trip up the West Coast. Here we go, let's get started. Searching for those is what broke my last GoPro. Here we go, though. for the view of this mountain though that's what we're going to check out a little better today This whole winter I've spent in the desert, away from the forest, like this place. This is up in Mount Shasta, California. And oh, I didn't realize how much of a number it taken on me. It's like, it's uh, being so far away from the green and the wild and the trees and the bushes and the, and the dirt that doesn't turn into mush when it gets wet outside. This is proper dirt. <laughs> you can walk in without going into quicksand. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, where you spend time in has a huge impact on your psyche. I got a little bit of training to do for an upcoming basketball tournament, and that means that we need to do a little bit of training on the way down. We'll see what I, you'll see what I mean. Here we go.
I was trying to make my way across this, I don't know, this redwood, like manzanita sort of tree on these little snow like icebergs. The further I've got, the more I've just <laughs> trapped myself in this thorny cage. Over there is where I <laughs> get to. I haven't even really started training for basketball yet. This is just ridiculous. Oh, I finally made it out. This crazy bush is not something we have very much of in the forest where I'm from in the Northwest. So I am very excited to leave because if I just had to hike through this stuff, if I didn't have this trail, I would never get through it. Okay, and now we are off to Redwood National Forest. I might approach on foot. <laughs> I just saw some elk up around this bend. These are wild elk, so we're not gonna get too close as we shouldn't get close with any an wild animals. But it's not the rut right now, and it's not spring. So they probably don't have any babies, which means right now is a great time to see if we can get up close and get some shots of them on the GoPro. Famous last words, right? But I mean, uh, this is really fun stuff. Let's go see the redwood elk. Oh my god, there are two elk rutting right in front of me. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up, guys? Oh, you totally know I'm here, don't you? You totally know I'm here. I have got two elk just staring me down right here. <laughs> they were just doing a little bit of play fighting. They're both still like juvenile uh, young bulls. So they'll probably separate at some point and one of them will go off and like start their own harem. But I was trying to sneak up on these guys and I was I had next to the creek next to me and the noise, all this stuff. The highway's right over there. Uh, and these elk are used to seeing people, but their senses are just so dialed in. It's so hard to sneak up on these animals. They they caught me from forever away, hundreds of yards away. Their heads perked up. What was that? What was that broken branch I just heard from like hundreds of yards away next to a highway? They just know so well. Now, whenever you're in the open with two very large animals like the ones behind me, make sure that you have some cover to get to just in case they decide they don't like you anymore. But that's really cool. Big elk. <laughs> Three bull elk, actually. There's another one over behind the corner back here. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's about as close as we want to push our luck today. <laughs> so we're going to head out see the next part of the redwoods. There are three huge elk. Oh my gosh, there's more at the side of the road. Look at this.
Redwoods National Park has a way of bringing out the childish nature in me. It makes me want to run in the woods, play in the sand, jump around in the waves. But the unfortunate part about this magical national park is that it's bordered by two of my least favorite small towns in the country, Crescent City and Eureka, California. If I didn't have to spend so much time working on my laptop in town, maybe I'd be more tempted to stay in Redwoods. But for now, every visit I take to this park is short. So on this drive through I did some explosiveness drills and played in the ocean uh, before going north to what I think is a far better state, and that is Oregon. Pretty good. This guy, I don't know his name. That guy's good. Good movie. Welcome to Bastendorf Beach in Oregon. The start of this beach is the start of what I think is the best coastline in the entire country. It's better than California, better than Key West, better than South Carolina, and my experience even better than Hawaii. This stretch of beach in Oregon is my absolute favorite. I didn't really have any plans of stopping here on this drive through, but that's one of the nice things about living on the road. You tend to find yourself where you need to be when you need to be there. When I filmed this video, I was really starting to feel pretty burnt out. I had a lot of work going on and there are a lot of things to focus on in life. Health, wealth, relationships, and all those little things can pile on little bits of stress on us until one day we're driving down the road and think, shit, man, I am stressed the hell out. Everyone has their own way of dealing with that, but for me, my foundation has always been nature. Nature helps me find balance, get back to my center, and that's what this stretch of beautiful coastline gave me. And until I found my center again, I was staying right here on the coast, listening to the sound of the waves, feeling the embrace of the ocean breeze, and enjoying the peaceful solitude of these coastal forests. It works.